Welcome to the office at Aqua Cage. This is where all the record keeping happens. Um, on the wall right here, this is the next group of fish that we're going to be harvesting. So these are spring fish and we have two different groups of fish that we get each time of year. Spring fish we harvest in the following summer and fall fish we harvest the following winter. That's about a 14 month turnover from when we get our fingerlings until when we ship them. Now we ship fish around two and a half to three pounds. These fish we're shipping a little bit earlier just because some of the fish up north are a little bit small because we had a pretty cold winter this year. So you can see our cages are here. We have in blue here estimated numbers. So I have an estimated conversion rate and conversion rate relates to how much feed is required to grow a certain amount of fish. So if uh, you can look at this in terms of pounds, you could say 1.24 pounds of feed to make one pound of fish. So lower the better. You want a lower conversion rate, more fish. We have an estimated percent survival. We usually average about 85% and that's across the board at all fish farms. Um, we have an estimated number of fish, which is based off of mortality, which relates back to the survival and how well they've been feeding. So it's kind of a pretty accurate factor that we come up with. Um, feed per cage, we're measuring that. Uh, approximate average size, we can do that using a model that a university professor came up with that monitors fish growth through different temperatures because fish grow differently in warmer water than they do in cooler water. Um, during the winter, fish don't really grow very much. We feed them for maintenance reasons only. So we have blowers that keep the water open from cages freezing over and we'll feed them about 10% of their ration that they would have normally gotten in the summer based on their size. And then from that, we estimate how many totes, which are what we ship fish in, that we will get out of the cage. So you can see we've shipped one cage already with an estimated 60.8 totes and we got 59.3, which is pretty accurate based on our estimation. So we know that our conversion rate is pretty close and that's always great. More things that we do in the office are recording almost everything that goes on at the farm. These books have all the record keeping for feeding. So I have year classes. This is a fall group that we're just receiving now. And in here you can see feed sheets. So on any given day, we'll have feed sheets with the amount of feed going into each cage, what actually gets fed. This is an RR, meaning rapid response. So they ate very well. And on a scale of one to 10, they ate and an eight. This allows me to find out if cages are ill, how well they're feeding, um, water temperature will be recorded. It's great feedback and this all gets recorded in these books and then transferred onto a computer and then we can use that to do predictions. We have all our medical history from the vet. We have all our feed order forms, all of our incoming fish, uh, warehouse information, um, counter reports and also health and safety for all the workers. So a lot goes on in the office. It can be a full-time job it can be hard to get out of it sometimes. And keeping up with all the cages, that's uh, every month they do a month end summary and we estimate fish sizes for every group. We have to keep up with feed sizes, um, how, how much percentage is each cage getting and compared to the rest of the year class. And when we have four year classes on the farm at any given time, it can get pretty confusing. So we have three feed boats and hand feeding going on at the same time. So we can have feeding going right from seven o'clock in the morning till six o'clock at night over three times a day at the most for one given cage. So it's a lot to keep up with. So right now we're in the barn and this is where we house all of our feed bags. We get them in one ton bags and every time a boat fills up, it gets recorded in our log. So we record the date the feed was manufactured, which is found on the tag, the date that it's being fed, what group it's being fed to, the size, which is written in PT, which is referring to millimeters. So this is a seven millimeter feed, which is our largest feed. You can see here, this is a seven millimeter pellet or seven PT pellet. 
and this is a 3PT pellet. This pellet would be fed to new fingerlings coming onto the farm, and it is not pigmented. This pellet is a pigmented pellet fed to our biggest fish before they're harvested. The pigment is called astaxanthin. It is a chemically derived pigment, and it's extremely healthy. It's a powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory and has immune system boosting benefits as well. Sometimes we add extra vitamins to the small feed too to give the fish a little extra boost. Our feed comes in the one ton bags and in the winter we fill it into bins and it's all hand fed. And as you've seen in the feeding boats, it's loaded into the bins in one ton bags. So this is the largest you can order feed in. So throughout the season, we feed varying amounts of feed. In the summer, we go through quite a lot of feed, whereas in the winter, we can feed about 10% of their regular ration that they would have in warmer water. In the summer, almost 60% of one of these bags can be fed to one cage alone in two feedings in one day. So it's quite a lot of feed coming in and out of this barn every year. Mm -hmm.